Hey guys, welcome back. So in this particular video, we're going to be understanding what is two different terms are for a website. One is domain name and second is hosting. And then followed by, if you understand these two terms, people often enough have problems with DNS. Let's understand that. Let's say in traditional marketing, you have a, a hotel or you're planning to open up a hotel or a chain of restaurants. And then uh, the first thing which will come to your mind or maybe you will discuss with your family or friends is the name of the hotel or the chain of hotels or chain of restaurants. Let's assume that we have named it as ABC chain of restaurants or hotels. So ABC is the name, name of the business. Now that you have the name planned and thought in your mind, it's there. But now if you want to execute on that hotel building or restaurant building, you need a space in the market, meaning space on the planet Earth. <laughs> right. So that space particularly is often enough we in layman terms call as shop. All right. So you need a shop, meaning you need a space to run your business, which is what hotel run your business. So this name is there, now the place is there. All you need to do is combine these two things. Name is in your head. You know, there is an application which is my gate. So whenever there is somebody on the gate, I get these kind of notifications. It's a wonderful app. <laughs> I didn't want to cut this over here because you get some value over here. <laughs> so coming back to this, like name and a place to run that business. Once you have that, now it's your responsibility that once you have that shop, uh, you might buy it or you might rent it. So these are once again an important thing, right? Either you will buy that place or rent that place. Once you are done with that buying or renting the place, you have to actually have a banner or a holding something like that, like ABC chain of restaurants or ABC, ABC chain of hotel on that place. Only then people who are going through that will recognize that, okay, fine, this particular place or slot, which is allocated in the market is for what? For this restaurant, right? Before even building that, you do some kind of thing for that. So that name is now pointed to what? The name which is there actually in your head is now pointed to what? That particular place. So that is in layman terms, let's, let's call this as pointing your name to the space. Now, this is what is traditional marketing or in traditional terms, we understand this. Let's relate this concept with website planning and designing. In website, you need domain and hosting. So what is domain? Domain is the name of the business, meaning whatever you see on internet, which starts from www dot and then whatever it is, is known as domain. So it might be, let's say for me, it is like digitalpratik.com. So digitalpratik.com is the domain name. If you call digital marketing for free.com, so digital marketing for free.com is a domain name, right? So those kind of things are domain. So you need a domain name to build a website. Next is let's say hosting. What is hosting? Relate this with your traditional terms, which we just understood, which is space. So you need a space, not in the market space in the market, which is known as digital market is internet, right? So let's suppose this is entire internet. And you just need a small little space from the entire internet, not the entire internet. You don't have to buy or rent the internet. You have to buy or rent a small little space from internet, which will be termed as hosting, right? So once you have domain, once you have hosting, you have to tell these two things that, okay, fine. You have to point at the same location so that we can build something on you. All right. We can build a restaurant actually on these two things. So that pointing to each other on the same location is now termed as what DNS, which is often known as domain name server, right? DNS. So people say that you have to change the DNS, meaning you have to point your domain to the hosting location. Only then you can build your website, which is like building the hotel, online visibility, which we talked about in the previous videos. 
So you have to build a website once you have this pointed at the same location, DNS, and then you can use any platforms like WordPress, like Wix, like any other platform, Shopify, on these two things to build your own website. That is domain and hosting. So now let me just give you a couple of uh, names through which you can buy domain and hosting. Now that you have understood the common concepts, the layman basic level fundamentals of domain and hosting, let's understand what are the platforms. You might have heard GoDaddy. You might have heard Bluehost. You might have heard HostGator. All right. You might have heard Namecheap and many others. Like there are thousands and thousands of people who are like doing this kind of business where they might be selling domain or they might be selling hosting. So all these platforms might be a domain registrar or hosting service provider. So when you call domain registrar, domain registrar websites help you to actually book a domain, which is what dot like www dot something.com or dot net or dot in. All right. So now before we book the domain, whatever is there like dot com dot net dot in dot co dot co dot in dot co dot uk x x x x x like plenty of infinite number of extensions which you have over here. So all these things, all right, all these things are known as domain extensions, domain extensions, right? So irrespective of the domain extensions which you have, the entire thing is known as domain. So domain registrars, common domain registrars or uh, popular domain registrars are GoDaddy, then Namecheap and there are plenty of. These are the two which I personally use and I have personally used in my career and has been used by plenty of marketeers. I have a couple of domains from GoDaddy. I have a couple of domains like maximum number of domains which I have currently is from Namecheap and I recommend my clients as well to use Namecheap. Let's talk about the hosting service provider. As I mentioned, these two terms, Bluehost and HostGator, these are the two uh, fine, like I won't say the best hosting service provider, but they are very good hosting service provider. And I have used both of them in my career. Uh, since past three years, I'm personally using Bluehost and I always take one year plan. So Bluehost is the one which I'm using. HostGator I have used in my career previously. Now, do you think that Businesses which give you domain, which is domain registrar, can or cannot provide hostings? That's a tricky question. So a lot of people confuse themselves that if you are buying domain from GoDaddy, probably you will have to buy your hosting space from somebody else. That is not the case. All right. GoDaddy. So there are businesses which provide both domain registrations and service providers for hosting. Both of those things are being provided by uh, a couple of business. So GoDaddy is one of them. Bluehost is another one of them. Namecheap is not providing hosting provide uh, probably. And if they are that they are not known for that. Same way HostGator. They are known for hosting service provider. Right. So that's the reason why I personally choose this combination since past three years. I always take my new domains or register my new domains from Namecheap and I register my hosting or continue or renew my hosting services from Bluehost all the time. So these are the two platforms which I am using. Now let's understand DNS. When you should be changing DNS and when you don't have to do it. So let's say if, if uh, you have one single person who is giving you domain and hosting as well, then there is no need of changing the DNS. Why? Because that single entity knows that yes, my domain is this or your domain is this and your hosting is this. So the system recognizes that these two are the things for a common business. So now once that is done, all you have to do is just build a website or use the platform. But if you have two different entities, which will be providing you domain and the another one will be providing you hosting, then you have to tell these two things that yes, this is the common space where you have to come, meaning you have to change the domain name servers, meaning you have to point it, point these two things on the same location, right? That's where you have to change the DNS. So whenever you use two different platforms to book your domain, 
and your hosting, you have to change the DNS. Now, all these practicalities will be covered in the next upcoming videos. All right, how to book the domain, how to book the hosting, how to book or how to change the DNS and how to actually then use WordPress kind of platforms to build a website. So these are the things which I wanted to cover in this basic video. Other than that, these domain extensions are something which you don't have to buy separately. All these come when you actually buy the domain. So whenever you will buy the domain, which you'll see in the next upcoming videos, whenever you buy the domain, the extensions would already be there. So you can choose digitalpratik.com, digitalpratik.net, digitalpratik.co, digitalpratik.in, whatever is available. All right. So that's a quick little video over here where I wanted to explain the basic fundamentals of website creation. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.